welcome, 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 all there in Radio Land, well, TV Land also, it's time yet again for another thrilling, exciting installment of, you guessed it, Wicked Entertaining, coming at you live each and every, well, Monday through Friday now, uh, that is Monday through Friday, 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific Time, that's 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time, only on Rock Rage Radio. We are also on Rock Rage Live. We're on uh, many different sites. We're on iHeartRadio, SiriusXM, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, iTunes, Spotify, Audible, Spreaker, Podbean, and a bunch of other sites. Uh, you can find us also on YouTube, Vimeo, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram television. And of course, we are distributed by those nutty, crazy, awesome, amazing people at Sony Music Entertainment. Sony Music Publishing. The Orchard by Sony, Art19, BMG, and 5050 Global Music Incorporated. Shout out to all of them. And, of course, we have our awesome, well, we're going to bring her right on right now, one of our amazing co-hosts. I'm Jennifer DeVoe Muse, a.k.a. Jenny. We have, of course, Amy Bowman, the sultry songstress. One of our, um, <laughs> do you like that? Do you like that? So, I like so, that, yeah. I'm like feeling all sultry and everything. There you go, exactly. See? <laughs> uh, so our show is hosted by the following. We have uh, myself, Jennifer DeVoe Muse. We have uh, the Muse who's running around here somewhere. I don't know what he's doing. Watching something on his phone. Who fucking knows? But that's James Muse. He's running around. And then, of course, uh, as always, we have Derek Webb, actor, producer, uh, and health trainer. Well, we'll see if he shows up tonight. I sent him a link. Who fucking knows? Anyway, <laughs> and then we have uh, also, of course, uh, let's see. Oh, Shyler Staver. I think he's in the studio working on some music with his new project, new band or whatever. And then, of course, our buddy Greg Coster, who'll be joining us here shortly. And then we have our featured guest of the evening. And, and I don't know if you've ever seen these guys play in person. But if you're in the Southern California area and you haven't seen No Service play, please go check them out. Really amazing band, especially on stage. So uh, let's bring them on and welcome them to the We're Wicked Entertaining family. All right. It is No Service. Hey. What's up? Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> Yeah. Let's uh, let's see if we can find a better way to. Oh, there we go. We can fit you in better. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I feel like I'm. Well, feel like... Four of us, like <laughs> San Diego. Hell yeah, San Diego. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. How are you guys doing? It's been a while since I seen you. Are we doing well? Just for with your show. It's awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. Wanted to try something different. Rebranding, you know, try something, uh, you know. We're on the East Coast now, so it makes sense. We're in New England, so, you know, wicked, entertaining. So, you know. <laughs> and, and it's a lot easier to say than... Fuck yeah, dude, but it's a lot easier to say than Jenny's Real Talk on the block. Too much of a fucking mouthful. You know, it just it just had to go. We had to try something fucking new. And who doesn't like the devil flipping people off with both hands? I mean, I'm, yeah, it's, just, it's just fucking awesome. But hey, I want to bring on uh, an amazing guy here. We've got uh, none other than Greg Coster. Booyah, it's Greg Coster. Hey, what's what, up? What's up? Let's yeah, see. Better if late can, than never, I guess. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to do this. Can we do a four-way? That sounds dirty. I'm, I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, shit. <laughs> Can we fit everybody in? I don't know, man. Well, let's try. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the best we're going to do for right now. How's it going, Greg? Hey, not too bad. Glad to be here, Jen. Thanks. Sorry I'm late. No, dude, that's fine. Fuck yeah. You know, it's East Coast. We we do what we do. You know, you work in two jobs. You're in a... Oh, yeah, tell everybody about your awesome gaming store there in Holton, Maine. I actually got out of the gaming store. I had too much shit going what? on. What? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, that was fast. Well, you know, doing a gaming show and a tattoo shop and radio DJ and then just other shit. <laughs> just too much. All right, well, plug I'm the tattoo lazy, shop. So, but... 
Yeah, yeah fuck. Shut the hell up. Whatever. <laughs> Are you fucking funny? This guy, he is one of his day jobs, as many, many jobs as uh, is. He's a radio DJ for WHOU 100.1 FM up in Holton, Maine on the Canadian border. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're talking to no service the band right now. And uh, these guys are some great guys. They are uh, really hardworking, San Diego area, California. And uh, they're some of the most badass fuckers on stage. I'm telling you that much. You guys are really good. You got a good lineup now, too, especially the whole band is really good. Yeah. So how- yeah, we've got a good group of guys right now, and we're uh, excited about uh, coming out with some new stuff. And it's, uh, it's a little tough getting gigs out here in San Diego because everybody oh, really? has cover bands and bands, you know. Oh, but, that uh, fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we still get to play out about once, once a month or so, and uh, we're going to start live streaming on sessions. And, okay. Uh, See how that goes. We've heard it's oh, a yeah. good uh, plot. So we're going to give that a shot. And we're here with you, Jen. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah. Next time we should have you guys play live. Like get some kind of, I don't know, recording studio or some shit. And do like a live set or something. So everybody can see how, how awesome you are on stage. Have you ever played with these guys, Amy? Yes. It's been quite a long time ago, but we did. It was back when Kel was in your band. Huh? Long time ago. Huh? Kel Stewart, yeah. holy shit. That was a while ago. Oh, yeah. That was a while ago. <laughs> the drummer yeah. extraordinaire. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, Amy was uh, with the band um, Fallen Fury, lead singer and bassist. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. That was me. What are you doing now? This. Radio. Television. This. TV and radio. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's a badass nurse during the day. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Saving lives. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. We sent you a couple tracks. Would you, would you be able to uh, play a track or a little snippet of a track? With people? Yeah, I was going to play some, some stuff from your YouTube channel. That would be cool. We've, we've got uh, a lot of different stuff on the channel, and we're going to be um, putting a lot more on it soon. Awesome. Hell yeah. Yes, most definitely. We can always play stuff on the show, uh, future broadcasts, or, you know, anytime. You know what I'm saying? Throw on, uh, you know, it's always, we, we're always going to play, like, your guys' music between MP3s and uh, videos and stuff, too, you know? I like to mix it up, you know? Very cool. Very Hell cool. yeah. So what have you guys been up to lately? Um, been recording some videos or doing anything? Actually, we are just um, starting to uh, utilize the Sessions platform. We, okay. um, we, it took us a little time to get familiar with the uh, streaming and what was needed and how to you know, capture the sound and, and make it not sound like we were playing in a tuna can, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. It had to get that and, perfect. Uh, we had, we had, a, uh, we had, had a, a change at Drummer, and we have Steve now, and mm. he's been working with us, and uh, we're, ready to, we're ready to really start kicking ass. And, Hell yeah! Uh, coming out with a lot of new stuff. And, uh, we've got we've got like three or four songs that are on YouTube right now. Right. But um, we've got like because this is our studio back here. I don't know. If you Very can nice. See, but this is our little nice live studio that we practice at. Hell yeah! Look at that. They even got the backdrop says "No Service Band." <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Yeah. That's badass, dude. These are all the songs that we have. That Holy we need to go. damn! We need to get them recorded. Fuck. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. You know that song, Sports Place Choice. You like that one? 
Yes. Yes, dude. Man, you know how many times I sang along to that motherfucking song? Every time you guys play it on stage, I'm like going hard. When me and Warrior Dave and a bunch of the other guys were all going hard in the fucking audience singing along to your song. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm just a big fan, I guess. I just like singing along to your music. <laughs> yes! That was fucking... That was an awesome show, dude. That was a great time. Thank you guys for having me out there that night. I really... Um, you know, the Viper Room is one of my favorite fucking venues of all. Um, and, of course, the Whiskey and the Rainbow Bar and Grill. And UBG and... Well, it was Petey's Place, but now it's called The Last Call. And then, you know... You should get some shows up in L.A. more so because they, they're not all about just doing, you know, cover bands or tribute bands. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's everybody out there. They're booking like crazy right now. It's better, in my opinion. There's more more going on up there, you know? Yeah. I mean, they need more venues in San Diego and in between. Yeah. Crazy. Did you guys, show at the yeah, not oh, did you? A couple weeks ago. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, together as four of us. nice. I just joined, I just joined recently, so okay. And how many members are in the band now? Four, four. four. Where's I? Where's Asia? Oh, uh, uh, he got married. Oh, I saw that. I saw that on Facebook that he did. Hell yeah. Badass keyboard player, though. Yeah, yeah. He's a very, very talented musician. And yes. We wish, we wish him the best. You know, it was fun Hell yeah. with him while we did. You know, really he nice guy. Now he's yeah. Nice. yeah, he's a super nice guy. Yeah, super awesome, dude. Very talented. You're right about that. Hell yeah. Where's the Where's the awesome lead singer? That guy's got some pipes on him. Hey, you want to introduce yourselves? Go around and uh, yeah, start with the awesome. Yeah, start start with the awesome the the lead singer, and then work your way around and introduce yourselves. Tell them what do you do in the band and what your name is. Let's start by Let's start by Dave. This is Dave Castro. Dave is over here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jose and Noah with a beer. But well, we all we all got a beer, so sorry, it's just like it's a tiny camera. Yeah. So we had to fit in. I know. I'm sorry. It's like I'm like, oh shit! It's hard to fit all these people in. I'm like, god damn! I'm not used to having this many people. It says you can have up to ten. I think they're lying. I think they're lying. Oh, maybe that's now still. See that now we can't really see the band all that well. Okay, we're just gonna go back that way, I guess. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing we don't have everybody else on tonight. <laughs> you want to ask some questions, Amy? Well, I want to know how far you guys got along in the, um, what was that contest you guys were just in? And you asked everyone to vote for the Hollywood oh, Bowl? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How far along did you guys get? We got into the top ten. We were... Yeah, we got into the top ten, but we didn't make it into the top five. We were oh. seven. Wow, well, that's good yeah. enough. That's great. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Cool. We made it a couple of rounds. Yeah. yeah. We had twenty-three of the most yeah. successful rounds in very good numbers. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I wish I would have had like you know gigs or like, or something for you know the bands that make the top for the ten top bands because. Pretty sure there's a bunch of places it's not interesting like the quality of bands that were around you know, those ten bands. Right. Okay. I mean, this is the Hollywood Bowl, yeah, so. Uh, yeah. How many votes? I wonder how many votes you guys got. Probably like thousands or something. I, I would. Yeah, it would say it would tell us like tell like. There was a couple, but we couldn't. You can't like see everybody that voted. It's kind of a thing. Yeah, right. It's clear, you know, like, where the votes come from. They also had like part of the voting system. You also could buy like you also buy votes, so you know, like one person could have like a bunch of votes. So it's not, I guess it's just how to track. Yeah. But it was a fun experience. That's cool. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, did you have to submit like a certain song to them or anything like that to like? Get in the vote to get into the ring, throw your hat in the ring, or no? Yeah. 
just the information and then like your YouTube channel and oh, okay. stuff like that, our website, which by the way, we'll throw a little plug in. Hell yeah. www.noserviceband.com. Hell to the yes. We are also on you don't have to say www. <laughs> You guys got um, you guys got some merch. You got anything like that? Like selling some merch? Like I know you I, I got one of your T-shirts, and I, and I still wear them. I rock them out here in Maine. I walk around in Lewiston, Auburn, just like randomly with no service t-shirts on and like uh people are like who the fuck is that like i'm like oh you don't know you have to go check them out on youtube <laughs> hey i'm still gonna plug <laughs> yeah we're not selling any merch at the moment but uh once we get things rolling uh we're gonna, we probably will start doing that. Um, we, we really wanna start putting out a lot of music um, in a short period of time. Hmm. Uh, and um, see what happens, you know, see what happens. We have, we have a label, we're part of a label. Oh, but, uh, what's the label? Right now they're really too interested in what we're doing. So uh -huh. we're gonna kind of do our own thing, you know, and. Uh, Hope that they catch notice and say, "All right, let's do, let's help these guys out." So, wow. Oh, Atlas Star Records. I'm sorry. There we go. I mean, just in case you know, maybe they want to take notice. Yeah, we just started. We're waiting, you know. And I know that they say they're working hard and stuff, so we're like, "All right, work hard." You know, that's what we're doing. You know. Right. <laughs> you you want to ask them anything, Greg? I'm a DJ, man. I want to hear some music. <laughs> well, I, I guess we can do that. Five tunes on YouTube, man. Like, what's your most badass song that you're most proud of out there right now? That's what I want to hear. There you go. Say our, our most badass song is probably Algorithm. I don't know. That's my well, question, but I'd love to hear some music. All right. Well, you know what's great? I have that all queued up and ready to go. We're going to play a music video. Let me get that queued up. All right.
Hell yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Thank you. Oh, fuck yeah. What's the song about? So, the song is called Algorithm. And yeah. I agree. Everything is. It's every everything's predictive. You know, you type something into Facebook, and then five seconds later, you see an ad for, you know, other companies. You know what I mean for the same type of products or whatever. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> it's all the porn I've watched. It's all the porn. It's all the porn. You know how I am. You know how I am. You know how I talk by now, motherfuckers. You already know. <laughs> it's all the porn, predictive porn. Now now Facebook pops up and says, Would you like to watch Debbie Does Dallas? And I'm like, No, sorry, not today. Maybe maybe another day. But you know, <laughs> Amber Amber Lynn, though that's a whole other story. <laughs> yep. That's what it's all about, you know, algorithms, and uh, that's where that song pretty much came from, you know. And or not, that's kind of kind of how an algorithm works. You either mm. you like something, then they assume that you like it, and then you like something else that is connected, and then either. It's, Connected and you like it, or it's not, and you don't like it, and then it's yeah. the next thing. That ended up fucking the muse over because he um, because he's very he's very political. I don't know if you guys know him at all, like in that way, like. He's very political. Yeah, exactly. If you see the posts that he, like a lot of the shit he shares, a lot of his politics and, you know, calling people out on their shit. And <laughs> so, you know, he likes to see what the other side is up to regularly, you know, like Republicans and other shit like that. And, and, and he's an atheist, so he always wants to, like, you know, see what all these world leaders and re religion fucking are doing and shit. So he'll click on those those, you know, posts or whatever, you know, or from different agencies like Fox News or whatever the fuck. And <laughs> he's like, why in the fuck is this coming up now? Why? I don't want to see something about Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. And then just things are popping up about things. And I'm like, well, you you clicked on it. That's on you now. I don't know. You want to own that shit, man. I don't want to say it. I don't want to tell you now. <laughs> Predictive, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Uh, I clicked on a thing of Ron Jeremy once, and you know what happened? He popped up at the fucking Rainbow Bar and Grill. I don't know how that happened. I'm just kidding. And then I got molested by him in the bathroom. I'm just kidding. He did. He did. He did fill me up in the in the Rainbow Bar and Grill though. But I felt honored somehow. I don't know why. It wasn't like all those women in that class action lawsuit against him. I felt honored that he put his head on my chest and looked up at me and said, Oh, pretty lady with the big boobs. And that was wonderful to me. I don't know. Call me crazy. Hey. Special hey, Ron Jeremy moments. Really 
Oh, that motherfucker's crazy. Him and Andy Dick. I'm also friends with Andy Dick. Shh. I didn't supply the lube when he screwed that guy in the RV a few months ago. It wasn't me. I wasn't a part of any of that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, the, the man is sick. The man is sick. I have many Andy Dick stories. Like the first time I ever met him, he looked up at me and said, do you want any cocaine? I said sorry. I said I said sorry, not right this moment. But if you check back with me in a week, it might be a different story. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> I was at a Green Jello show. So sue me. Hey Jim, there's a um, there's a there's that vid, there's a video on YouTube of a show that we played when we opened up for Tiffany. The, oh, uh, okay. Popeye. Right, yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube. And is it on your page on YouTube? It's on our page, and that is okay. I, I got everybody it. Everybody is there, and uh, hey, we're working on is, it. And uh, is you can hear us basically live. Is this the one that says no service live at the, the whiskey a go go? Okay, well let's play that one then. Let's play. Let's play that one. <laughs> All right, we're going to enjoy some more music by No Service. Oh, yeah. Yeehaw. Fuck yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome No Service? Do you know where you are? You're at the world famous Whiskey Adogo. Oh, oh, oh. 
the mirror. That was really cool. That was really good. That was good shit. Thank you. Yeah. That was I know I came in late again. You ask him like who some of their influences show. were. We still go go. And it's even better now that I'm in the band. Go for it. <laughs> not not yet, Greg. Go for it. Hey, who are who are some of the info the other bands and musicians that influence you guys? That's the shit I really like to find out about. Well, um I I uh I write the songs. I pretty much all of them I've, I've written. Uh I would say what kind of influenced me musically are kind of like Van Halen, nice. uh NWA. Nice. Uh, that's a big old. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Pretty big spectrum. Big stretch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, it kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, like I think I think a lot of the songs that I write are 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 kind of through a lens of um, a dude that grew up in the '80s, which I did, but. Yeah uh is living through the now you know and i think that's kind of the lens that that the songs that are that are written are are kind of how they're written and then the influences just come from you know the the, the rock bands the motley crew all, 
all of them. But I'd say the main influences of, for me have always kind of been like, like you know, Van Halen. I like NWA. I like the uh, um, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds to me like there's a little bit of punk in there. I don't know when I listen to your yes, I do that too. Yeah, punk like middle aged punk. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I was hearing this. I was hearing that too. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now as I got older, it turned more grooves because it fits perfectly. Yeah, he's doing. I mean, we've got we've got some songs coming up that I think are are really going to be. Um, Pretty exciting for people. I mean, I, I think the stuff that's on that whiskey go go video is great, but uh, uh, I think the stuff that we're going to be coming up with in the next couple of weeks is really going to be outstanding. And I, I, we can't wait to share it with people. Man, let us know when you guys nice. have, like, I know you got an MP3 on your website. When you guys got more shit to buy, you let me know, man. I'm right there. Be happy right to support on. you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. This, uh, this, this young man right here, Noah. There's a song in there uh, that um, he, he, he is, he's, it, it, it shows, it shows the type of talent that he has, and it's, it's called Change of Trust, and it's a complete departure from those other songs that we played, and I really feel like that song captures the essence of no service, like what we're about and what we believe, you know? And, and why we're doing what we're doing. And Man, there's one thing I do want to say. I'm sorry to interrupt, Dave, but now no. when you asked about the whole, you know, style of the band, uh, so me coming into the band, you know, when I get into the band, the way my ear got, you know, used to the band and how I can make sense of all things, was like middle aged men punk, right? But, yeah. you know, we're angry, but we know that, you know, but, you know, society is <laughs> like, <laughs> it doesn't pay, no, but we're angry with stuff that happens right now, you know, and uh, I, love what they swap on the song you know all the songs are very compassionate they're all telling you, you know like to like be a better person so that's one thing yeah. that i really love about all, all of the songs so that's one thing that you know like make the most out of all of the songs of no service you know no service is a it's a name that it's tricky you know because it tells you that it could be whatever but it's a very like humanitarian and you know human and real and we just guys trying to make music and you know and actually say something and they that's awesome. Those songs and that's yeah, an awesome thing. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah. yeah. I, me I remember one of your songs. Was that the one that was about the Native American land? I remember we were talking about. No. One no, of your songs was more about like you know. Yeah, that was that's a song that that, that as a group here we haven't even touched on. They, these guys, I think he's heard. I think Noah's heard it. I don't think Steve's oh. even heard it. And it, it, it was yeah, that was back there. in the day. Yeah, you were yeah. a song called Mule Hill. Yes, remember when you guys played my show at the airliner? Yes. Yeah. Before it got closed down, but after it was on Bar Rescue? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to John Taffer. <laughs> that was a real long time ago. That was, my, that was my third concert I ever threw. My first one was at the UBG. My second one was at the Five Star Bar in downtown Los Angeles, which is also now gone, which fucking sucks because that was one of my favorite bars to do shows at. And then, uh, then we did the Airliner, the only show we ever did at the Airliner, though. Yeah, that was I remember fun. that. Yeah, well, Kel was with you, and who was the other dude? Um, I'm trying to remember the other guy with the glasses. I can't remember his name. Uh, Tim. Tim. Yeah, yeah, Tim. yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. It was a totally different lineup back then. I remember that. Yeah, he had a whole different very, look. Uh, yeah, yes, a different look. That's for sure. Yeah. 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 We, uh, yeah. Your hair is all long now. Oh yeah, your hair is long now. I remember that you had shorter hair. That's right. Holy shit. God, that was a while ago. Fuck. Yeah, I did have shorter hair. That was like four years ago. Yeah. 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 It was like October 2018. That's something crazy. Wow, wow. That was a while ago. Hell yeah. There's a, there's a song that you have that I sent you a video of called Garage Sale. 
Oh, yeah. That, what do you say? That actually is an old video of obviously me with short hair, but that has Tim in it. And the young man in the background was my stepson, Ian. And he was the one that I founded No Service with in the very, very beginning. Right. And, uh, yeah. And so when you get a chance, play that one. That's actually one that I sing. No offense, no, but that's one that I sing. Well, <laughs> you know, all right. Well, let's let's play that, that one next, Ashley. So we're gonna, we're gonna play "Having a Garage Sale" by No Service. Let's keep that. All right, entertaining. Trying to price things right Neighbors trolling Checking out my one hand clock That fishing pole is bound to get a bite Having a good sale Like a vice, low ball everything you got without ever thinking twice. Having a garage sale, having a garage sale. Bring your money, you might find something you like a red ceramic rooster or a rusty wheelless bike. Make an offer. One I can't refuse I'll even throw in A slightly warm pair of shoes Having a garage sale Having a garage sale Save my money So I can pay the rent Get to Thursday It's already spent Search the cushions for a nickel or a dime End of the month is coming My garage sale made it this time Having a garage sale Having a garage sale The hours come for this garage sale to end My back is hurting and I don't want to be Check the curve it's there you will see a pizza box sign that reads, go ahead, take it free. Having a garage sale, having a garage sale, won't you please come by? Don't leave your money Some no service. I remember that. I remember that song. I remember that. Hell yeah. 
That was what you played that at my at the show you did for me at the airliner. That was fucking badass. I love it. <laughs> it reminds me of Maine, huh, Greg? Having a garage sale or the flea market oh, or I whatever. I think I'm. Fuck yes! I think I'm working the flea market on Friday. Too bad you're not in the anybody in the anybody in the Lisbon or Lisbon Falls or Lewis and Auburn main area would like to stop by my table at the Riverside Flea Market on your way to Lisbon and Lisbon Falls. Come on by. Lots of awesome shit. For low prices. <laughs> That's my plug. Come buy my shit, motherfuckers. Anywho. <laughs> I, don't want I got comic, I got comic books. I got shoes. I got purses. Exactly, all kinds of shit. And uh, blue-haired ladies. What is it? What'd you say, Dave? A red ceramic rooster. That's the line in the song. If I had a red cock for every time someone said something like that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We're in, we're in, we're in Maine. We're in Maine. Is that cultural appropriation? Did I say something wrong? I don't know. I don't want to hurt any Native Americans' feelings. <laughs> I'm part Native American, my damn self, as is a lot of my friends from the fucking Holton Micmac and Mouse Eat tribes and all that loveliness. So, you know, I'm, Mac, I'm Micmac and Mouse Eat. So, you know what I'm saying? I can represent, god damn it. <laughs> right on. So those, Hell, fucking know, yeah! Our songs kind of like they go from that uh, uh, real fast to kind of that. That algorithms our fastest song and change the trust is our slowest song. Right. <laughs> and then garage sales kind of in the middle. I think that'd be popular here in Maine, though. Gra you know, the garage sale, like a lot of Mainers, I think would. Would like that type of a song, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. It's it's uh, you know a lot of us. Uh, that's how our lives are here. It's really simple, you know. We you know working jobs, coming home, and you know doing our thing. Late, more laid back out here. It's not as you know yeah. fast paced as Los Angeles. You know what I mean? Traffic is five cars on your table down there of uh, no service. Yes, I should actually. That's a good idea. I should do that. I should get a bunch of my bands from like from California, and then just like sell sell your like merch, and then send, and then and then send you the money. <laughs> Are you gonna pay PayPal, motherfuckers? Here's twenty bucks. I sold your shit. Here you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know I'm all about supporting you guys. That's what. Yeah. I appreciate that. I never charge people to be on my shit, my TV or radio shows. I never pe charge anyone to play my fucking concerts. Mm -hmm. If anything, if you bring people through the door, I give you money. Yeah. Like here, you know, hey, you brought 30 people through the door. Here's some fucking money. Yeah. I don't, you know what I mean? Pay $50 to be here tonight then. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> That's between us. Shh. I knew that didn't sound right. He paid his weight in five finger death punch tickets. <laughs> hey, I got the hookup. He's uh you know, he's a radio DJ. He's awesome like that. Nice. So if you guys could go out on the road with anybody, who would you like to go out on the road with? Is there a band you guys would love to just go out and play with or I'm sorry. I said if, if there was one band that you could just go out and kind of tour and play with, who do you think it would be? I'll let you answer that. I love the Foo Fighters. Yeah. Ooh. They were actually supposed yeah. to be here not too long ago before they had that tragedy. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. He's a singer. He's a singer. We got to we need support. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with that. You know? That's a fantasy dream for everybody. It's like, what's your favorite model? You know, like, it's. I'm going, I'm going anyway. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be a good one. <laughs> They're really good. I'd want to open up for the Cottonmouth Kings. Just because I just because I want to smoke weed with them. I don't know. It'd be fun. <laughs> I, I, I I almost smoked weed with Snoop Dogg, but that didn't happen. They wouldn't let us smoke inside. Goddamn East. Fucking, fucking East. 
Fucking esports arena in Santa Ana. Damn you. Should have let me smoke weed. Wait, you got some bush there? Is that some bush? He's got some bush. Oh, look at that. I have to like really. It's hemp. Hemp. So, Jen. Yes. This gentleman here's best, I feel, best song, and perhaps our best song is Chains of Trust. It's the one with the okay. piano. Right, okay. The live thought, I saw that one on there. The live version of it at the, at the Whiskey, if you could pull that up and play that and let people hear the wonderful voice that Noah here has. It's, he's just an outstanding singer, and I'd love for you to share that with the people. I have I have a video here that says uh, that says that no uh, sorry chains of trust so that's the one you want right. The problem with that one is it's not Noah singing. The one at the whiskey is going to be Noah. Oh. Singing. Okay, is that in my emails you sent me, or is that like on your YouTube page? It's on the YouTube page. It's the one. That okay. Just on the, just on the oh, oh, oh! Is it the next song? Is it the one from the Whiskey a Go Go? But it's like the next song in the. Okay, because like I have it queued up, so like I can go back into it. I just didn't know what song it is, because it's what looks like a good set there, like half an hour or so of you playing. So, okay. Two thirds of the way in, it'll just be okay. Noah and Asia with the piano, and and I think uh, again that's one of our best songs. It, it definitely holds our ethos as a band. It's okay. All right, let me go see if I can pull that up here. Hold on. Let's see. And you said about three quarters of the way through? Yeah. Let's see here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. One second. I think I found it. One second. I got it. Hold on. Right down. Okay, I think I got it queued up now. Hold on. No, no, no. We don't care. Stupid YouTube. No, YouTube. We fucking don't give a shit. Alright, hold on. I didn't want that either. What? Yes. I had it queued up. So. I'm almost there. Yeah, talk amongst yourselves. I'm I'm putting it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost got it. Here we go. All right, I think I got it. One second. Let me make sure. Does that look right? About looks like it's about maybe just about the point where it's just the two of them on the stage. I think. So. Let me, I'm going to play it. Just tell me if I'm, if it's wrong. Is this about right there, right spot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go.
You're, you ever just want to tell people in an audience to shut the fuck up? I mean, I swear to God, that's when Jenny would have given them the stank eye. Like, shut the fuck up, these people are trying to play, god damn it. I remember when you played that song at the, at the Viper Room, that was really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I, great voice, really strong, I love it. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Fuck yeah! Good food, good music, good people. Gotta love it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, the food tastes good. I mean, I, I'm just, you know, I'm, it's good, good food, good drinks. I don't know, you know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, well, um, I'm, I want to thank you guys so much for being on the show today. Th thank you. No service. Please give it up, everybody out there watching. And please go like their stuff, follow, share, subscribe, all of that. And can you please, can you please tell everybody, um, I know it's noserviceband.com, correct? Okay, and can you please tell? It's www. No. <laughs> I miss you, motherfuckers. I really do. Um, <laughs> can you tell everybody where else they can find you, like social media and and uh, streaming sites and whatnot? Yeah, we're on Facebook, um, No Service Band. We are on Instagram, No Service Band. And uh, we are going to start streaming on sessions at least three times a week. And we are nice. going to be creating our own in-house uh, um, videos with music and nice. uh, releasing them on YouTube. And hopefully someone will notice and go, hey, let's take these guys to the next level. That's what we're hoping for. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. 
Yes, please, everybody out there, like, uh, go, go to their YouTube page and subscribe. Go like their stuff. Go share their stuff. Share their music videos. Share their website. Uh, go share their fake face, Facebook posts. Like their Facebook uh, page. Like all that. Um, you know, biggest thing is to support music from around the world. Not just your local market to you, but bands from around the world. Um, you got some amazing bands out there, different genres. You know, go support. That's the biggest thing. Go see some shows. I know we got monkey pox or whatever the fuck and some COVID and some other craziness going on in the world. But please, if you can, <laughs> wear a mask. No, I'm just kidding. Go, go see a concert. Support. That's the biggest thing. But thank you guys so much. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Fuck yeah. You guys are the shit. You know I love you. <laughs> you know I love you guys. All right. Thank you so much to... Our wonderful hosts uh, for being here tonight, Greg Coster and Amy Bowman. Thank you, Thank you so you much. Doing, Hell yeah. Till next time, tomorrow night from New Hampshire. I'm sorry, New Hampshire. We got Scott Plant coming out. Go listen to Scott Plant music. We got some, uh, we'll see, we got Serafino with Ring of Leaders coming up on Friday. And Thursday, we got DJ King J in the house with some hip hop. All right. Never a dull moment right here on Wicked Entertaining. Go follow us on, uh, we'll go to our website, getrealglobal.com. www. No, I was kidding. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> go check us out, Wicked Entertaining, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And then, of course, you can go see all of our shows on Twitch. And uh, YouTube and some other channels. But till next time, peace out. Stay safe and keep on rocking. Rock Booyah. Fuck yeah. <laughs>